Welcome to this ESN Smart Nitrogen virtual farming experience. Drag your mouse or tilt your handheld device for a 360 degree view of this field. Let's begin our plot tour of ESN on potatoes in Eastern Idaho with Dr. Alan Blaylock. We're here at University of Idaho's Aberdeen Research and, and Extension Center. In this field, we have a study evaluating the performance of ESN in potatoes in eastern Idaho. Nitrogen management is especially challenging in potatoes for a number of reasons. Potatoes are a shallow-rooted crop that is very sensitive to the timing and amount of nitrogen supply. Potatoes are often grown under conditions conducive to nitrogen loss. We, a lot of potatoes are grown under irrigation on sandy soils where nitrogen can be readily lost by either leaching or volatilization or sometimes denitrification. ESN is the best option for a grower to manage these losses while saving labor on the in-season applications that are common in potato production. In normal best management practices, growers often need to make multiple applications during the season. Many growers fertigate, that is applying nitrogen through the irrigation water to maintain a more constant nitrogen supply. Let's take a closer look at how ESN works to make your operation better. ESN technology uses a flexible polymer coating to encapsulate a nitrogen granule. The coating protects the end from loss mechanisms, releasing it when the crop needs it most. The membrane allows water to diffuse in, dissolve the end granule, and create a water and urea solution. The granule then releases nitrogen at a predictable rate, controlled by soil temperature. Now let's head back to the field to see how well ESN performs. In this case, we've applied ESN to these potatoes just about at emergence, just as they're entering vegetative growth. You can see the shallow nature of these roots and, and how nitrogen could easily get beyond those roots and our plant could start to become deficient. So by applying ESN at emergence in these potatoes, we ensure that the release of nitrogen from ESN coincides with the development of vegetative growth and supplying nitrogen right on through tuber initiation and into tuber bulking. So these potatoes are going to start growing very rapidly. They're going to need a lot of nitrogen. ESN is really kicking in to supply the nitrogen uh, they need through this critical growth stage. Here in these two rows, we have a great example of the performance of ESN in growing potatoes under irrigated conditions. In this particular row, we've intentionally applied a little bit of excess irrigation water to demonstrate the interactions between irrigation and nitrogen management. Excess water can uh, cause, lead to greater nitrogen losses, and so therefore we can see those differences showing up already. Here in, on the right, these potatoes were fertilized with ESN. You can see they're remaining green and healthy, uh, green all the way down the plant. These plants are set up to produce a great crop of high quality potatoes. These plants on the left are fertilized with conventional urea at the same time and at the same rate. And we can see these plants are already turning yellow all the way down to the base of the plant. We have green le or yellow leaves. These plants are already suffering nitrogen deficiency. I've already experienced some yield loss here because of the excess water and the nitrogen loss. So when we look at the two, you can really see the advantage of using ESN and growing potatoes in Eastern Idaho. Thanks for joining us. We hope you enjoyed this ESN Smart Nitrogen virtual farming experience. Visit smartnitrogen.com for more information.